Hi! In this video, you'll learn about the random node, a simple but powerful system node. Let's get started! You may uh, need sometimes to have a random chance to show a view. Let's say I want to switch between 1, 2 or 3. Or maybe between 2, 3, 4 and 5. So let's check it out. And let's create a flow like that. I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna use this. 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm gonna add another option here. And I'm gonna use a time delay, three seconds. And let's create a random node. In order to create a random node, right click on the graph and go to system random. And here, uh, right away, you have a random node with two options. Let's use two and three. So after three seconds, when we enter node number one, let's go to either two or three. And you see the random chance is here. So it's 50-50. It can be any of these two. Let's uh, also be able to return. So let's add one more option here. Just so we make a, an automated loop. Time delay, three seconds, come back here. And let's add one more. Actually, let me clear everything up so it's easier to use. And this as well. Okay, and let's disconnect this. Time delay, three seconds. All right. So what we have here is when we first start the, when we first enter play mode, after three seconds, we will leave this node and go through a random chance node that will select either number two or number three. The chances are 50-50% because I'm not working, I'm not uh, changing the weights. If I do, you will see the change in real time. Let's press play and let's see it in action. So, notice how the time changes. There you go. So you see we have a 50-50 chance. Let's say I want to increase the chances for number two. How can I do that? Well, that's very easy. I just change the weights. Let me move this a bit so you can change the weights. So now I have 50 50. I just lower the weight for number three. So let's lower the weight. So it's a 10% chance that I get number three. And check it out. Most of the time I get two. And it may happen that I get free. There you go. And this is the random node. Let's add one more to the mix. Let's say number four. Let's uh, disconnect this. And uh, let's change it with delays. Let's exit play mode. All right, so check it out. I'm gonna add the same thing here. Time delay, three seconds to go back. And time delay, three seconds to go back. Where is it? So now I have two, three, four, and five. Let's add one more. And note, notice how the percentage changes when we add one more. If they all have equal weights, it's 33, 33, 33. Okay, so let's press play. So now it can be any of these three. So now I have two. Now I have three. Let's lower the delay so it goes a bit faster. Let's go here for one second. So you see, this is how the random node works. Let's add one more. And you'll see the percentage change to 25%. 
Let's say I want to remove number three and number two from this mix. I can add a disconnect. And if I disconnect again, the percentage will change. Notice. Yeah. And, oh, I went through one that didn't have a connection. And now let's say I want to change the weight. So let's say I want to have uh, different weights. Notice how everything changes. So I have 100, let's say 20, 20, 100. So there's a small chance that we have three and four. Let's press play. And yeah, that's it for the random node. It's uh, really quite basic. So five, so between two and five because they have the highest chance. And sometimes you might see a three or a four. We'll just wait. There you go. Let's increase the chance for three. Lower it for two. And now you see that three will start appearing. There you go. Let's lower it for five to zero. So you just removed it. And let's go 100% for four. There you go. Now, that's the random note. Thank you.